Do you have a crappy cell phone camera, or always envious of your friend's crisp and vibrant photo posts? Well, none of that will matter, after watching this video. Because in this one, I will teach you, how to enhance this picture. To be like this. Or this one. To be like this. And all of that, by just following 5 simple, and standard steps, using a free cell phone application. You literally have a great, DSLR quality picture, within less than a minute, regardless of your original photo quality. Let's begin. Okay. The application that we need, is called Snapseed. This is free. It is available on both Android and iOS, but no version for Windows, Mac OS or Linux PC operating systems yet. You can search for it on your Play Store or App Store. If you want to learn more about its features, you can check out the details of the application. It has 29 filters and tools, supports many picture formats, including raw pictures. You can use it for a selective editing, and the preset filters are all customizable. This is my go-to phone photo editor for more than a decade now. The Snapseed icon looks like this one. When you open it, you will be presented with this screen. You can either tap the plus icon, or tap the open menu from the top left corner to open a picture file to open. Let's go to the gallery here. I have a pre-selected pictures here in Ribby Trivia folder. Let's select the first one. The picture already looks nice, but wait after I've shown you the 5 steps later, and see how much better this picture can look. We have preset filters here, but we are not using any of them, so you can ignore them. By the way, if you are using this on a portrait mode, the screen will look like this. At the bottom part, instead of icons, it is showing a menu text for looks, tools and export. The tool menu is what's important for us, which becomes a pencil icon when we are on a landscape mode. Let's click the tools now. Then let's go to the details. To navigate the options, swiping up and down will let you choose what enhancement to edit. In details, we have two, for structure and sharpening. Let's go to structure first. To change the value, we then need to swipe sideways. Left side swipe decreases, while right side swipe increases the value which you can see at the top of the screen. This is step 1 of 5. Set the value of structure between positive 50 to positive 70. Let's set it to 50 for this one. Then let's swipe up to shift to sharpening. This is step 2. Set the sharpening value between positive 20 to 25. Let's tap on the check icon in the right bottom corner to apply the changes. OK. We're done with that. Let's click the pencil icon again, which is the tools menu. Now let's go to Tune Image. Tune Image has 7 options. But we'll be using just 3 of them. First is the saturation. This is step 3. Set the saturation value between positive 50 to 70. Now for step 4, set the highlights value between negative 70 to negative 50. And for the fifth and last step, set the shadows value also between negative 70 to negative 50. And we're done. Tap on the check icon from the right bottom corner to apply. See how much vibrant the picture looks like now, as compared to what it was before. If you want to see the original picture, just swipe up and hold. When you release the swipe, it will go back to the edited version. Let's zoom in a bit. Again this is the original. Then this is the 5-step enhancement that we did. Looks great. If you want to save it, just click on the save menu, or the download icon on the side. Then save it. I use this 5 simple steps to update any photos. Just to prove a point, let's use it against a different photo this time. Let's try the snake photo. This photo now has a really different subject compared to the first one. As you can see, the photo is too soft, especially on the subject, the white python. Let's do the 5 steps again. Let's go to tools, then details. Then set the structure between 50 to 70. Since the subject is too soft, let's go to the maximum value this time at positive 70. Then sharpening also to the maximum value of 25. Tap the check to apply the changes. Now to tools again, then tune image. Let's also use the maximum of positive 70 for the step 3 of saturation. Step 4, let's also go to the minimum negative 70 value for highlights. And lastly, let's also set the shadows to a minimum of negative 70 value. Then tap the check icon. There we go. In less than a minute, we've enhanced this very soft and pale picture and make it pop and alive. We can see the snake scales very clearly now, and it looks very alive. Swipe up and hold to see the original. Very soft, pale and lifeless. And this is the enhancement we did in just a few seconds, using the standard 5 steps. Isn't that great, or what? Let's do one last sample here, and this time, let's use a picture of a person. I will neither confirm nor deny, that this is me in the picture. 
This is a pretty decent portrait picture already, but again, even though it looks like it's already good, Snapseed and my 5 steps can still make it better. Let's go to tools then details again. Set the structure to positive 50. Then the sharpening, also to positive 50. Apply the changes. Then tools and tune image, to apply steps 3 to 5. Saturation to positive 50. Highlights to negative 50. Shadows to negative 50. Apply the changes. Now let's compare the changes. This is the original. This is the enhanced. Original. Enhanced. Let's zoom in to see the details. Original. Enhanced. Like what I told you, the picture already looks great, but it can still be improved with a simple 5 steps. Now you can save this. Last thing I want to note, when you save a picture from Snapseed, it creates a new photo and all of those are saved on a folder called Snapseed. So when you open your gallery, look for Snapseed folder, and you will be able to see all your edited pictures there. As you can see here, any type of picture, any subject, any view or any perspective, the 5 steps are working great. The only kind of picture that I would avoid applying the 5 steps is the low light, darker theme or night mode pictures. In those kind of photos, I would suggest doing a positive value for both highlights and shadows. Just to summarize, the 5 steps are, 1, set the structure between positive 50 to 70. 2, set the sharpening value between positive 20 to 25. 3, set the saturation value between positive 50 to 70. 4, set the highlights value between negative 70 to negative 50. And 5, set the shadows value also between negative 70 to negative 50. That's it. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilisuj for watching. Noba Air.